I remember looking up this Sandals Resort and seeing what they had for dining options here and this was the restaurant that I wanted to eat at. Being right next to the water, up here on the dock, really exciting and our drinks are here. Okay, so we both got the signature drink here to start and it's a mix of quite a few things um, but there is a white rum, coconut, pineapple, a banana liqueur, lime, and then it actually has a sugar rim which I really enjoy. Um, but this is like a beautiful setting for dinner because we basically get to watch the sunset. The water kind of turns like gold and actually this was like perfect timing. It's like around 6 p.m. and the cruise ships are starting to leave the port over there near Atlantis. So we actually first saw one of the Disney cruise ships leaving port, which we're pretty sure it was the Disney Dream, not 100% sure. And now there's a Norwegian ship pulling out over there too. So this is pretty exciting. So they also do a little bread service here, which, might I add, the butter is pretty much a five. It's room temperature. It's not necessarily whipped, but it is room temperature. It's good. It's not bad. Could use a little bit of salt. Overall good. Apps are here, so let's dive in. So for my appetizer, I chose to get the Bohemian Fish Chowder. This comes with fish fillets, onion, carrots, celery, potatoes, thyme, and aged cherry wine. Now, one thing I don't see on here uh, is any type of spice that would make it a wee bit spicy. This was a little bit of a kick. Uh, a little bit of heat in there uh, on the first couple bites. After that, it wasn't too bad, it was good. Fish was cooked really well, onions, carrots, celery, potatoes, all uh, nice, not like a crunchy. You know, they've been in the chowder like they're they're a little bit more like on the tender side so uh, i would definitely get it again there were some decent pieces of like fish in there which i think is always something when you get a chowder you're always wondering like is there going to be a fair amount of that in there and there was and it was good so but it was it was more of like a tomato base if you're kind of wondering and it was good a little bit salty i like it for my appetizer, I actually got the coconut crusted crab cakes and the pan seared scallops. Those are actually two separate appetizers. However, I wanted to try both and this is all inclusive with the Sandals Resort. So I was able to get both appetizers and they just put them on one plate, which was kind of more convenient for me and saved space on the table. So the coconut crusted crab cakes um, also came with a mango chili scallion salsa on top. And that was actually wonderful. Those crab cakes were like probably some of the best crab cakes I've ever had. I remember when we first checked in here, they said eat at Gordon's, get the crab cakes, and do it during sunset. And that's basically what I did, and they were spot on. <laughs> they were very tender crab cakes, like that meat just like pulled apart, but somehow it was all still held together very nicely in that little cake formation. Um, and the coconut crust on the outside gave it a nice like added texture, so the crab cake wasn't too soft with just that um, like tender crab meat in there. It was nice and crunchy on the outside, which I really enjoyed. The pan fried scallops came with cornbread, anchovy mayonnaise, and pulled pork. Now, I wasn't really feeling the pulled pork that was in there. The barbecue flavor, I don't really like with scallops. I like my scallops um, kind of just by themselves. I really don't like my scallops with anything, honestly, unless it's like a mushroom risotto or something. Um, so I just ate the scallops, but the scallops were cooked perfectly. They were seared nice on both sides and like perfectly tender. It was one swipe of my knife and that's exactly how a scallop should be. All right, so for my entree tonight, I got the Thai red fish curry, which is coconut cream, lemongrass, eggplant, ginger, fresh chili, and steamed rice. Now, I haven't actually eaten any of the steamed rice yet, but 
This is a little spicy, but very creamy. There's definitely some butter in there because you get that uh, butteriness of it, uh, which is nice and I like it. Uh, plenty of redfish in there. It also seemed like maybe there was uh, some other like seafood in there just from the looks of it. All in all, nice dish, not super salty. Vegetables were cooked very nicely. They were tender uh, and it's good. I like it. I would definitely come back and get it again. For my entree, I got the surf and turf. So happy about this. Uh, it was a beef tenderloin, grilled shrimp kebab, whipped potatoes, sauteed vegetables, and a port wine reduction. If you have been watching our videos for quite some time, anytime we've gone anywhere and I've had surf and turf or a steak with a red wine sauce, you know I am all set. So this meal tonight has been very good. Starting out with my crab cakes and scallops and then moving on to the entree. The steak was cooked a perfect medium rare, nice and tender, very easy to cut with my knife. I honestly didn't even need a steak knife for it. It was very tender. The shrimp was also cooked very well on the skewer. Um, sometimes shrimp can get stuck to the skewer very easily and it can be like hard to get it off. It was cooked very well. Um, it was grilled. It was very nice. The red wine sauce was actually very good with everything on the plate, with the steak, the shrimp, the potatoes, the vegetables very good. The potatoes were nice and smooth. I like a smooth potato, not like the chunky potatoes with, or like a crushed potato. Um, and like I said, they went very well with the red wine sauce. So Taylor and I both got the same dessert. It was a cheesecake with like a strawberry compote. It was a little bit of a different texture than your, maybe your normal cheesecake. It was a real cheesecake though. I'm gonna just keep, I hope everybody gets that from now on. I'm gonna just keep ripping on that all the time. Uh, but it was good. It was light, a little more on the airier side. It wasn't like runny or anything like that. It was form, it was nice, uh, not super sweet, which is what I really like about cheesecake. And then the strawberries on top are what added that a little bit of sweetness back into the whole dish. So they were fresh cut strawberries, then you had like the strawberry kind of sauce on there. So overall though, decent dessert. I liked it. Uh, Taylor didn't really like it that much, but I think that's just because she wasn't really expecting it to be a real cheesecake dessert. So it was good. Overall, I think this restaurant was great. The sun has now finally set. I mean, it's a beautiful place just to come and sit down, relax, eat, and have a good time. And again, it's all included.